one of the more entertaining things was every night out off the back of the uh, houseboat that we were staying on, they had lights on the water and we just sit and watch the shrimp popping behind the boat. And I mean, it's almost mesmerizing just to watch them and then watch these trout come through and nail them. So of course, we got a fish. Every time I come down here, we've spent the nights fishing under the lights, either on the boat or over by the dock. And you always see trout popping and just attacking shrimp. And it's just so cool to watch. These shrimp are literally just trying to get away. They're running for their lives and trout are just annihilating. But we've never really seen redfish or anything like that come through the lights. So the first two nights, I think we just sat there and cast. Uh, I was throwing a small dark spin and just, just whacking these, uh, these trout. I mean, it was literally every cast. Hey, Lord. That was bigger than you are. What are you doing? Back here. The night before, Brooks, the cameraman, had been out on the back of the boat after we all went to bed and had figured out that redfish were piling up after like 11 o'clock. So we were going to rest up and see if we couldn't get into some of that action off the back of the boat. Again, not. Not the target species. You okay? Yep. This is why. We shouldn't have more than two treble hooks per lure. What's oh, that got three? Yeah. Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a nice one. That's full tech lure is working just the way it's supposed to. Leader deploys out of it. I have a wire leader there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Those great colors. All right. <laughs> it's been tough fishing off the kayaks, but this is some good fun right here. Woo! But he doesn't even have it in his mouth. You got all excited. Eliminated two trebles in this situation. Though. He's still already. This is why. This is how you get a hook in your hand. <laughs> I'm like, I just saw a flash there. Ooh, that's good fish. Ah. Yeah. Another nice one. Wow. Look at that beautiful fish. Jameson is keeping the trout busy. Trout master. <laughs> So I can catch some reds. Ba boom! I needed this so bad after our struggles we've had with the weather and the high water and just not finding the fish out on the flats. Just to have some fun out here on the back of the boat. It just shows you that uh, this is a great, great fishery. The fish would just come through and kind of wave. So when he would hook up, I would start casting all around where his fish was. The problem I was having was everything I was throwing was just catching trout. And you gotta keep those trout off your bait if you're gonna have the opportunity to get a red. There won't one. Crazy to watch these fish swim through. Yeah, I'm using this bigger uh, spool tech paddle tail. Um, there's so many trout here. If, that, if I was using something small, you're constantly getting peckered by them. So I'm throwing a bigger lure just to avoid the trout and hopefully just get the redfish. And so far it's worked. I've got two of them already. <laughs> Catching is so much more fun than fishing. There we go. All right. <laughs> we got a double. <laughs> <laughs> Your rat catching is more fun! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> All 
right in the corner of the mouth. That was nice, easy release. I figured there'd be one with yours. <laughs> Here you go, baby. That's a good fish, dude. Oh, in the corner of the mouth, dude. Oh, yeah. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> All right. That's a fatty. That one is fat. Starting to get a little jealous of Jim, but I cheated when he hooked his and cast beside of it because they travel in packs. Don't tell him. See you later, buddy. He gone. <laughs>